Recently, about a month ago, I heard something on the news that so upset me, so profoundly upset me, that I felt I had to talk about it in public with people like you and maybe be able to get an answer to some questions that it raised. Have you ever had something like that that was so upsetting you felt you just had to talk about it? Something on the news? Has that ever happened to you? You, you know what I mean? You just got to get it out. Now in this case, you might have heard this news too. It was about Brazilian soccer team. Brazilian soccer team that came from a tiny town in a rural area of Brazil. A town so small that for years and years, this team played in obscurity. No one ever heard of them. They were in a fourth rank league. They just struggled to win anything. And even their hometown was kind of lukewarm about it. A number of years ago, they started to work harder at being a better team. They trained better. They got local merchants to contribute money to the team so they could buy uniforms and get a coach have a better playing field. And slowly but surely they got better. Year after year, they would move up every year just a little bit in the league, win a few more games, maybe win their fourth level championship, and the next year maybe get up to the third year. It was a struggle, terrible struggle, but they worked hard. It was the kind of team that knew if they just kept at it, organized what they were doing, they didn't allow traditional Brazilian corruption to ruin the team, they would get some time. And slowly they moved up, until this year, not only were they playing in the number one regional league, but they won the championship of that league, which allowed them to go on to the, the South American championship because they had already beaten the teams in their league and the national teams. It was, it was what you call a Cinderella story, you know, the unexpected princess. Out of nowhere, the team from the rural area, all of a sudden making it big. Now, have you heard about this team? You have, well, of course. Have you? You haven't? Have you heard about this? No. no. And you're going to be shocked when you find out that on their way to the championship, which was a dream come true, a plane which had 77 people crashed into a mountain. And almost everyone except for four people died. The whole team was wiped out. And my reaction was, this is not the, supposed to be the end of the story. This is not the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to work hard, keep at it, never give up, and win the whole championship. It's, you know, Rocky and the movies and everything. You don't crash into a mountain and die. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Now, you go to Toastmasters and you'll hear people give inspirational talks, which are, keep at it and you will achieve. This is one where they kept at it and they crashed in the mountain. They all died. And, I, and this, this shook me up. I could see. It's bothering you, right? You're not supposed to die when you work hard. And I couldn't process this for a long time. It so upset me. And the only thing I can come up for with is the narrative. Working hard and succeeding is human's narrative. It's our story. Your story as a human being. But what the universe has plan for you is not for you to say it. It's not for you to say the story turns out this way. It's the universe. There are other things at work, bigger factors. It's, you're the human being says you should work hard, it should turn out, you should have a happy ending, you should be champion and go on TV. It's 
not for me to say. So this puzzled me, and I felt I had to talk to somebody about it and hope maybe you have an answer. Now, like me, you might just suffer with this knowledge and keep wondering, how could this be? It's not for me to say. Maybe that's the way it is. But if you can get an answer, maybe you have the answer. Maybe you have the answer right, you know. It might bring some comfort and insight into what you're supposed to do when the story doesn't turn out the way we as humans think it should. It's not for us to say.